Now, these are the total number of fraudulent calls. And please take note that these are, this is a sampling. What we are doing is a sampling. When you receive a call that appears as a local number, it is not captured here. These are the calls that we have simulated ourselves to give us a sample idea of what is actually happening in the field. Members of the media were taken on a tour of the common platform monitoring system to be operated by Kelney GVG. It was to afford them the opportunity to see at first hand work done so far. The facility is located within the premises of the National Communications Authority, NCA. This is to enable the authority to check the actual real time for all the communication service providers. According to the NCA, the unavailability of such a platform in the past favored the telcos who under declared or underpaid revenue. We have two components of the monitoring system. Uh, first component monitors the uh, call durations. So we have the minutes of calls and we see it in real time. And the second component is for revenue purposes, but that is only for the incoming international call. You know, we have a floor price for incoming international calls and that's 19 cents, but government's portion is six cents. So the revenue component is able to compute uh, how much revenue is going to government and it's done on a real time basis. So you can see the daily revenues monthly and uh, even weekly. The $89 million contract between the government of Ghana and Kelney GVG consists of traffic monitoring, revenue assurance, mobile money monitoring, and fraud management. Whatever they give us is what we take. And uh, that is a very serious risk. We have to be able to determine the real thing for ourselves and not to be dictated to by the industry. The Minister for Communications, Mrs. Esla Ikufu, allayed fears that the new facility will breach the privacy law by eavesdropping on people's conversations. I want to make this point absolutely clear that we will enforce the law on confidentiality of the network in that the monitoring platform will not have the capability of either snooping on the voice conversations or the data that is carried on the network. And that is non-negotiable. So if that is the only concern of the mobile network operators, which they have expressed to us, as I told them, they can go to sleep on that score. The minister encouraged the telecommunication companies to connect to the common platform before June 11th or face sanctions. Data is king in this digital era that we've embarked on. Without having access to the data, it's difficult to plan. The government is determined to set up an open data platform so that we can be able to generate our data, analyze it, and develop programs and policies which are data-driven and led. The contract is structured on the build, own, and transfer model, which gives the country ownership of the assets after five years.